Yeah, we held them off, and big thanks to Harley Davidson, Screaming Eagle, Holmans USA, uh, Mission Foods for huge support of this series and our team. And uh, I want to dedicate this one to my wife because we just celebrated our five-year anniversary, and uh, I really appreciate her more than anybody in the world. So thanks, baby. I love you. I'm sure she appreciates that too, Kyle Wagman. Today's race winner, James Spoli. Second place for you today. A really solid point top for you as well this weekend. Definitely made good work of reeling Kyle in there. Where were you able to find some time to close that gap? Yeah, man, this Vance and Hines, guys, we worked all night. We did something in the morning and we made a little change for the race and it worked, man. We're Goose Petrucci over here, baby. Like, two, a deuce, deuce. And the only thing that sucks is Terry uh, Vance, baby, if I won, we can get an espresso machine for the truck. So we're a little bit behind on that way to keep chipping at that. Thanks, Kyle. But, dude, like, I would kept chipping at him. I felt like Pac Man out there, just every lap getting closer and closer. And then he turned the afterburners on the last lap. And, yeah, I just couldn't quite get it. And then the lapper, and I was like, you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> and I, I was like, man, hopefully we don't scale him. But, uh, yeah, super pumped. And, yeah, dose, dose, let's go. With Hayden Gillum hot on your tail, knowing full well what he's capable of, especially after yesterday's race, how do you kind of manage that risk versus reward, wanting to make that move on Kyle to try to get the win without letting your teammate get by you? Yeah, I took one uh, little peek back and I saw I had a little bit of a gap, but everybody knows Hayden, man. He's a, he's a Tom Brady, two-minute drill. He's going to be chomping at you. So for me, it was just head down, don't look back, try to get on Kyle there. But, yeah, I mean, for me, we don't want to crash this thing, but today I felt like I had the win and I kind of lost it there. So if I had an opportunity, I was going to throw it in. Congratulations. <laughs> Two second-place finishes for James Rispoli and Hayden Gillum rounding out your mission. Give you the Baggers podium. Hayden, quite a lot of work there with James today, but he didn't he didn't quite get the best of you. Take us through that race. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a lot better just from the get-go. The uh, stuff we made on the starts, it was way better, way better. Actually coming out of turn one and third, and so that was that was great. And then this morning, I just didn't feel like I had much, just physically. And, and in that race, I, I don't know, I was just, I wasn't feeling it. And so third, third was as good as I could get. I was trying. But James made a good pass on me, and, and those guys were pushing. And I was, I was trying, but, man, I, I did get a little deja vu going in that last turn, though. I was, I was kind of waiting, but they, uh, they kept it upright, and, and it was good. I, uh, but I don't know who this Tom Brady is. Congratulations, Hayden Gillum, rounding out your Harley Davidson podium suite for Michigan Beggars.